I come from the playwriting world, and I was shocked just at how long uh, cinematic lighting takes. <laughs> and it's important. It's also an incredible tool, and you have a degree of control over it, particularly in sort of close-ups, or you know, when you're framing specific shots rather than covering a stage. Um, but it's, it's time consuming and on a film setting you just have to be very, very careful with your time because you never have enough of it. Thoroughbred is a story about two teenage girls in suburban Connecticut who have a very tumultuous friendship and eventually get involved in a murder plot to murder one of their stepfathers. It started as a play that I'd written, and I was very interested in kind of the relationship between emotions and sort of emotional instincts uh, about right and wrong, and then I was very interested in kind of wealth and privilege and uh, setting it in a world that is very full of those things, but with characters who are at sort of a stage of life where they're just starting to build their own value systems. It was so well written. It was it was so beautiful. I mean, yeah, I think I was I was pretty captured from the beginning. I think all of us were. Um, Corey's a, a really incredible writer, but he really paints a picture in it. And um, I just really wanted to play Lily. I, the concept of uh, playing someone that was so hopefully opposite to me was was really thrilling. So I really wanted to do it. Corey had written it as a as a play, and I, I find plays the, way more interesting in terms of character studies than I do screenplays because you know, you're not trying to jam as much um, exposition in. My character was written so beautifully and the story was so suspenseful. Also just really, really funny. I hadn't read um, a script like that that had all those elements. I think he also does a thing where he really captures sort of the, the natural contradictions of what it is to be human. I think a lot of times it's hard to find characters that are so complex. You know, they nobody's that bad or that good. You know, they're they're just a series of contradictions, which I think is how we are as humans. The movie's really visually beautiful. Like the shots are stunning, and um, we have quite a lot of long shots that sort of snake within the house. And you know, um, Liv and I have this sort of interesting chemistry where mm -hmm. we're kind of dancing with each other. And so I hope that they come away with some very strong visual, you know. Images. There's a clear theme throughout of being so wrapped up in your own little world and being yeah. so insular. And, and there's a great there's a great line that uh, Paul's character has. And I think maybe the takeaway is just to maybe expand and broaden your horizon. Mm -hmm.